Hello everyone, I am Onur. I would like to change the topic to dentistry. Actually, I would like to change many things in dentistry because unfortunately, dental problems are most common problems all over the world. And interestingly, it is most preventable disease as well. So we are doing something wrong, but we are here for the solution. Today, I will take you to a refugee camp. We will go to outside of the United States because here, especially in California, for example, we are living the California dream, right? But outside of the America, people are suffering many different problems. And today, we will try to figure out refugee lifestyle, what they are doing, what they need. So let's go. This is the, our pilot study. Uh, I am working. Um, for Syrian refugees in the northern Iraq. Northern Iraq as known as Kurdistan as well, and it is a safe place, not like the Baghdad and other places. And I lived in the northern Iraq three years, and I started this project. This is the Kushtepe refugee camp. You can see there, here we go. It's the capital of the Erbil, and we chose this uh, refugee camp. This is the schematic diagram. In the United States, we are looking at this picture, and we can say that, hmm, there's a well-ordered buildings, social area facilities, wow, it looks good. But when you go to inside, you will see that this well-ordered building is just tents. And what kind of facilities they have inside? Nothing. They need everything. They need everything from us. And they are the innocent eyes, they don't know what's going on there. Don't forget those faces and eyes. This is our first visitation with the, my colleague. And if this is the first oral examination result before the project. You can see that there's a DMFT score. DMFT means in dentistry, treatment needs. If DMFT score higher than the four, so it means you, the, we need the urgent uh, treatment here but the average of the DMFT is six. It's a crazy. And also I met many people, the children, DMFT is 10, 11, you know, 12. So we have very bad status here. So as a dentist, I checked the report. I read the report from World Health Organization, NIH, and I tried to figure out how can I help those people. And according to the report, of course, we need to recommend three times or two times a, a toothbrushing a day, right? This is the reg regular thing. But when you go to inside, when you go to refugee camp, you, you will see that there is no even clean water. So it's not practicable. We need the new, you know, comprehensive and practicable project here. And this is the, my concept. This is the efforts. So effort is like this is the one hour course for universities, but just I will mention briefly, effort is the acronym word. We are, of course, educating the people, teachers, mothers, citizens, and healthcare providers at the camps. And we are, of course, doing fluoride gel and fluoride varnish. For fluoride varnish, uh, I have colleagues here. I am using the silver diamond fluoride for first time and oral examination. I believe that as a public health expert, oral examination is the key factor for the public health research or studies. Because with the examination, you can motivate and you can say the patient their real status, not the general, specific. Hey, you need to go to dentist. You, you need to go to dentist. And also, a traumatic restorative treatment, it means we don't need electrical devices, just with the hands, back, we are going to camp and we are using hands tool and we are doing feeling treatment here. A traumatic treatment is a very great option for the vulnerable population. And the Salvador Persica, it is the chewing stick. It is very common in the uh, Middle East, India and also uh, Africa. Maybe you heard before, this is the traditional, also as known as miswak. It really works. World Health Organization recommend to use it. And the people at the camp, they are familiar. So you can motivate easily to use the miswak rather than the toothbrush system. So I am promoting, I am saying, hey, I'm a dentist and I am recommended to use the miswak, what with the true way, right way. 
So this is the efforts project, and I want to I want to show the pictures our application fluoride gel fluoride varnish application. You can see that this is the oral examination is me, and this is the smiling face. They are happy right now. This is the result. I am a scientist, so this is the important for me. You can see that. Check it. This, this is the pre and the post efforts efforts for, um, you know, for the refugees, you can see we have great improvement of the oral health status. It's a great solution. It's a real solution. Also, because of the, our traditional approach and the cultural approach, we are promoting the mental health result here. You know, you can see that anxiety scores is declining. We are not doing any mental health interventions, just the efforts. So, I mean, if you help those people, whatever you want, whatever you do, they will feel better. This is the important another part for us. So, effort is really works. Our pilot study shown that. So, I would like to apply this uh, concept to everywhere. But I am not able to go to every refugee camp, right? So, we need the teledentistry here. Because of this reason, I established, the, uh, we found the Moon Health teledentistry company. We are providing intraoral camera and software for the vulnerable population. This is the refugee camp. Let's come back to the United States and uh, check the facts here. Like the before, um, my colleague Dr. Maria mentioned that also we have bad status situation here. But this is the Silicon Valley. When, when I compare the reasons between refugee camp and the um, United States, we have same reasons, but it's not acceptable. We have high technology, we have great people, and many people are working for the public health, right? What are the reasons? Firstly, cost is so expensive, right? And also, afraid of dentists, very common. In, in community location or time, tra trouble finding a dentist, a non perceived need. We can handle all of those problems with the teledentistry. How it works? We have six steps here, but it's really simple. Firstly, we are sending an intro camera to one school, for example, okay? And one trained person take a picture from the students or children, everyone. Everyone has a child and ch child, they are going to students. One trained person, nurse or anyone, teacher can do it also take a picture from the mouth. And this, all of pictures come into the cloud system, and the dentists or hygienists, they are assessed the, assess the pictures and writing special report for everyone. This is a step three. And step three, uh, step two, so step three, parents, they can sign up to our system by their smartphone or the computer, and they can see the result. Result of their child or his, his or she's oral health status, and also pictures with the very simple report. And the step four, also they can able to receive consultation, real-time consultation by their smartphone. They can talk with the local dentist, and local dentist can motivate the, those patients to come to their clinic. This is the other step. And they will go to dental clinic, of course, and uh, we will follow up. Follow up is also very, very important. So we have unique benefits here. We have, we will detect dental health problems at early stage. So we don't need the general anesthesia. We don't need the, we don't need the hospitalization here. Just the, we will detect the at early stage and we will make dental filling, that's all. And every child will be seen by dentist or hygienist. It's practicable, scalable and sustainable, and of course cost effective. Just intro camera and software. And also easier to collect and data and to track the data. It is important for every public health expert. We are starting soon in different countries because I am running different projects in different countries right now. We will start in the United States, the Turkey, Iraq, Mali, and the Germany very soon. Yes, I just want to show that uh, I, I was honored with the special reward leadership in the re refugee health uh, with the joint decision of three universities. So. We did something for good things for the outside of the United States, and it's time for the dispopulation. Thank you so much. <laughs> so 
or do you have any question? Yes, please. Yes, please. Brilliant work. Thank you so much. Can you do something for our homeless population? Yes, this project for everyone actually, not just for children, not just for refugees. We can reach everyone. We can reach the refugee center, we can reach the homeless shelter, everyone. Everyone can do it. Yes, sure. We will start, yeah, <laughs> but step by step. Yes, please. Intro camera, of course. So um, it is actually, it was difficult part for me because I am running a public health project here. I'm not a vendor. I'm not trying to sell anything. So it was difficult to find best quality and uh, you know affordable intro camera, but we found it. We found it. We have a great camera here, and it looks like the, um, like the seven, seventy dollars, something like that, not more. Yes, in order, in order to screen uh, entire community of refugees, you just need one camera. Yes, for example, for one school, one school, two, maybe three camera is enough. Yeah, right. we can see the everyone with this camera. Yes, please. I'm sure there's parts of your solution that we didn't see, but. What you did show were fluoride treatments and encouragement to mm -hmm. um, use a toothbrush equivalent, but that is preventive care that you could just assign to everybody without this camera. Mm -hmm. And for the people who actually need other treatments, yes. you're not proposing anything. So what is this next step that will actually involve the camera that's not mm -hmm. just collecting data? So. If we collect the data and we will assess the data, according to data, we will uh, establish a new program, new project. For example, if one school, uh, we will check the DMF score, if we need some urgent treatment here, so we will prepare a new treatment solution for the one school. But first, we need the data. Also, people will go to dentists. With the, uh, because we are motivating to go to dentists. In the California, many people, Many people has uh, they has the uh, medical, and they can receive free treatment from dentists, but they don't know. With this system, we will write the note. If you have a medical, you can go to dentist. Also, they can talk with the dentist, real time consultation, and dentist will say, "Hey, you have a medical? Yes. So you can come to my office, and it will be free. Everything will be free for your child. This is the, our option." But of course, if there is someone not going to uh, dentist, we have different solution because this, uh, this is why I'm doing it already. Yeah. Great. Thank you so okay. much for the Thanks. amazing. Video.